so we have successfully created our uh, backend application where we have created this uh, CRUD API uh, using the Express and MongoDB. So now we will be creating a React application for front end. So for that, you can just simply click on plus sign here. So here, let me just simply create a, a React application inside this Monstack folder. So to create a React application, you can just simply type npx uh, create hyphen React hyphen app and you just need to give the name of the application so let me just simply give something like client and click enter so this should create a react application with the name client one eternity later so you can see the react application has been created uh, so let me just type cd and let me just go inside the client and just click enter so to start the react application you can just simply type npm start so this should start the react application so you can see, so this has related us to this uh, browser and it is starting on localhost uh, 3000. So let's make some changes. So for that, let me just uh, click here and click onto this client and just go inside the source. So you can see on app.js, so you can see uh, on the header, so the content is displaying from this header. So let me just simply uh, clear this header and you can just simply type something like this is a React app and just save this so you can see so the changes has been already displayed here so here on the folder so folder structure so we didn't need some of the files so you can just simply delete this app.test so you can just simply right click and delete and we didn't need this logo.spg so let me just simply delete you can just press control and delete to delete that as well so let me just delete this report wave and we don't need this as well so you can just delete these files and now if you just go into this index.js so you can see so we don't need this and also uh, we don't need this as well so let me just delete this as well and similarly so if you just go into this app.js so we don't need this logo so let me just remove this as well and similarly so we don't need this index.css as well so let me just delete this one as well and also let's uh, remove this import index.css and on app.css so let me just clear the whole content and let me just simply give body and inside here let me just give the background color something like Alice blue and let me just save so you can see the color has been changed and this is showing this is react app so once this is done so let me just install the packages required for uh, building our application so let me just go inside the package.json. So let's install inside here. So for that, again, go into this npm.js. And the first dependency we will be installing is uh, bootstrap. So just type bootstrap and just go into this first one. And you just need to simply uh, click here, npm install bootstrap. We just have to install inside the client. So for that, you can just simply uh, create a new terminal and here let me just navigate into the client first and you can just uh, simply paste that npm install bootstrap so you can see the bootstrap has been installed and to configure the bootstrap so let me just go into the uh, new tab and the source for bootstrap and just go into the first link from uh, get bootstrap.com so if you just click onto this docs here so you will be able to find the uh, download option here so just click on download and if you just scroll down so you can see the CDN link so you can just simply copy the uh, CDN link from here so just copy the copy here and again go into this uh, public inside the public index.html and just below this so just above this uh, title so you can just simply paste that just simply save that so once you do that this should be fine so you can see so on link and script are added and you can also uh, change the name into something like full stack and just save and if you just go into this uh, react app so you can see the full stack name here and also the react app text has been changed because of a bootstrap so once this is done so now let me just simply go into this source so inside this source so let me just create a folder called get user so you can just type get user so inside here, so I will just create a file, JSX file called user.jsx. And similarly for uh, styling, so we will create a file called user.css. 
and in inside this uh, user.jsx so i will just create a, a simple functional component by using the react snippet so for this react snippet so you just need to make sure to install this uh, es7 uh, react redux react native snippet so once you install that so if you just type uh, on jsx file or or any js file so if you just type r a f c e so this should create this functional component so let me just change this into something like a user table. So here we will be uh, later adding the user table. So if you just save, and also you just need to uh, add this user JSX into the app.js. So let me just go into the app.js. And instead of this uh, React app, so we just want to uh, import the user. So you can see the user, so just click enter. So this has automatically imported user from the uh, get user slash user so let me just close this one and if I just save and go into the react application here so you can see the user table uh, which is being displayed from this user.jsx